before we begin, there are some guidelines we're going to have to adhere to when we make our thumbnails. The first one being dimensions. We're going to want it to make our YouTube thumbnail a specific dimension. Now, typically it's going to be 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720. Most people opt for 1280 by 720 solely because they can fit lower resolution images and make them actually look good in those 1280 by 720s as opposed to 1920 by 1080s. Uh, once you move up to the higher resolutions, you're going to have to scale those images bigger and bigger and they will lose their quality not just this specifically but most of the time your thumbnails are going to be located on the right side of YouTube they're not going to be scaled up too much unless somebody's watching it on a big screen TV or a big monitor um, but even then the chances of your thumbnail getting scaled up to that degree is very low so most people just stick with the 1280 by 720 uh, mainly because uh, it's easier to work on a smaller canvas uh, and you don't lose image quality quality on assets that you're importing into Photoshop or GIMP or whatever image editing software you're using and uh, also when they do scale up a 1280 by 720 picture it's not going to look too terrible uh, of course you can go 920 by 1080 if that's what you're used to working with it, it doesn't really matter too much but it is definitely easier to work on a smaller canvas uh, next up we want our thumbnails to be eye-catching of course this is pretty self-explanatory if you pull up a video you start watching it you look to the sidebar there's an a list of other videos you want that your video to stick out among the crowd and there are a lot of ways to go about doing this the whole point is to draw attention to your thumbnail uh, some people go with the big bulky blocky fonts and make it yellow make it orange make it a bright vibrant color so people will look at the right sidebar and right away see that orange or blocky yellow font and that will stick out and cause potentially a click to happen also people add borders to the outside of their thumbnails as well typically you want to stick it to the same vein use a bright vibrant color such as yellow red orange of uh, like neon green is another one also highlighting or using circles arrows etc in the thumbnail to kind of point out what's happening in the thumbnail if you have a picture of like Bigfoot or something you want to put a big circle a red circle around Bigfoot and have an arrow pointing at it because people are gonna be drawn to the arrows drawn to the circles also using big strokes on your images or your your fonts to create a border around say you have a transparent cutout of yourself or something you're working with like a video game character or something like that creating a big border around that character and of course another vibrant color like yellow red or hot pink or neon green um, will draw attention to that specific area and that's kind of how YouTube is right now you want to get the most attention you possibly can you're pretty much screaming at the person click me click me when you do these little tactics create the most distracting pretty much thumbnail you possibly can now of course using these tactics can backfire if you go a little bit overboard so that's another thing I would like to stress have a little restraint if you get a little too annoying if you start to put a whole bunch of little emojis a little circles arrows everywhere uh, bright pink bright orange bright red everything like combined in a one little annoying thumbnail a lot of people do have kind of a recognition of clickbaity thumbnails and if they see something that's extremely annoying to them there's a chance they might either report it to YouTube or just not click on your video both would be a bad thing so kind of steer clear of that and keep an open mind when creating your thumbnails create something that you yourself uh, would click on if you're watching a video similar to yours if it's something uh, that you enjoy yourself or if, if it's a thumbnail that you create that you think is going to provide a lot of results go ahead and try it out if it doesn't work you can always change it up later next up we have copyrights now copyrights are a big Big deal on YouTube and unfortunately thumbnails are not exempt from this law um, they are pretty lenient when it comes to the copyrights on thumbnails typically most thumbnails that are created are gonna fall under fair use but if you feel the need to copy somebody else's thumbnail or just straight out steal it that's where things get scary because YouTube will strike you with copyright strikes and after three copyright strikes your channel will be deleted without question so uh, do be very careful if you decide to kind of loosely follow somebody else's thumbnail um, try not to be extremely similar try to have your own differences do not copy them 
word by word or image by image and also do not steal somebody else's thumbnail because those are both big no-nos and if somebody watching watches both videos and notices they have the same thumbnail there's a high chance they will report it to YouTube and YouTube will do a small little investigation and give you one of those copyright strikes so that's one thing to keep in mind uh, when making your thumbnail next up we have thumbnail rules now these don't just apply to thumbnails but they apply to videos tags descriptions everything involved with the YouTube platform and you want to keep this in mind when making your videos making your thumbnails and just filling out your description all this stuff so one thing is you want to avoid using misleading thumbnails or video titles or video descriptions or tags because YouTube has a big thing against this and will actually give you a community guideline strike and community guideline strikes are just as bad as copyright strikes three of these in your channel will be deleted as well so kind of fudging the line uh, over and over it could result in your channel getting deleted so overall it's just not worth it you want to stay away from using misleading thumbnails uh, strictly because it doesn't take YouTube to kind of flag your your channel or your video your thumbnail it just takes one miscellaneous viewer who just stumbles upon your video and notices that the thumbnail doesn't match the content and they just report that to YouTube YouTube then comes investigates and realizes they were right and gives you that strike so uh, that's a big no-no make sure your thumbnail represents what your content is about what your video is about that way you can avoid this completely also the tags the descriptions uh, the title of your video all this stuff falls under the same little umbrella so so make sure you're careful and do as YouTube asks also of course these are no-brainers no graphic or violent images no nudity or sexual images no hateful or racist images all of these are no-nos and if YouTube sees them if they stumble upon your video and there's any of these things inside the video or on the thumbnail your channel could just get deleted right off the bat so do not do any of those things it's just not worth the risk and uh, it's best just to keep it safe and if you think you might have something related to a, a, like a rule violation it's best just to restart to remake the video remake the thumbnail and start from scratch